In this video, we want to review top 5 of deadliest female sniper. I'm Mr. J and welcome to one shot, one kill. Five. Nina Lobkovskaya, 89 kills. Nina Alexeyevna Lobkovskaya was born on March 8, 1925 in Fyodorovka, Kazakh SSR, and later served as a sniper with the Red Army during the Second World War. Although little was known about her early life, it is believed that Lobkovskaya enlisted in the Red Army after her father was killed on the Eastern Front in 1942. As with all women snipers in the Soviet Union, Lobkovskaya was immediately sent to the Central Women's Sniper Training School in Eastern Russia where she learned basic marksmanship. She was quickly sent to the front, where she saw action on both the Baltic and Belarusian fronts, respectively. For her courage and natural ability to lead, Lobkovskaya was eventually promoted to the rank of lieutenant in the Red Army, and was placed in charge of a female sniper company with the 3rd Shock Army. During her illustrious career, Lobkovskaya participated in numerous battles and operations, and was credited with 89 confirmed kills by the end of the war. In her final action during the Battle of Berlin, Lobkovskaya and her unit even managed to capture a large contingent of German soldiers, 27 in total, after surrounding them and taking them by surprise. For her actions during the war, Lobkovskaya was awarded the Order of the Red Banner, along with the Medal for Courage. 4. Alyaya Moldegulova, 91 kills. Alyaya Nermuhometkazi Moldegulova was a Soviet sniper who served with the Red Army during the Second World War. Moldegulova was born on October 25, 1925 in Bulek, Kazakhstan. After being orphaned at an early age, Moldegulova spent much of her early life with an uncle who lived in Alma Ata. However, she was later forced into an orphanage as her uncle was unable to properly care for her. After war broke out in 1941, Moldegulova was studying at the Rybinskavia Technical School. Driven by patriotism and a sense of duty to her country, however, Moldegulova decided to enlist in the Red Army, and was later enrolled in the Central Women's Sniper Training School at the age of 16. Shortly after graduating, she immediately sought action with the 54th Rifle Brigade, participating in numerous battles and campaigns along the Eastern Front. By the end of her career, Moldegulova was credited with 91 confirmed kills. Sadly, her heroic life was cut short on January 14, 1944 during a terrible battle involving hand-to-hand -hand combat. After being struck by a mortar shell and sustaining numerous gunshot wounds, Moldegulova died after fighting off numerous enemy soldiers. She was posthumously awarded the title Hero of the Soviet Union as well as the Order of Lenin for her heroism and bravery. She is remembered today by a statue that was erected in her honor at Astana Square in Almaty, 1997. 3. Nina Petrova, 122 kills. Nina Petrova was born on July 27, 1893 in Lomonosov, Russia and served as a sniper for the Red Army during both the Winter War and Second World War. Originally a star athlete and gym teacher in Leningrad, Petrova later joined the 4th Division of the Leningrad People's Militia, completing sniper school and becoming a certified sniper instructor by the mid-1930s. After participating in the Soviet-Finnish War, she later fought with the 284th Infantry Regiment where she rose to the rank of Sergeant Major. Her unit also sought action during the battle for Leningrad, where she trained additional soldiers the art of sharpshooting. It was here that Petrova distinguished herself as a capable soldier and sniper, as she took out nearly 23 enemy soldiers in one battle alone, earning her the Order of Glory 3rd Class. Petrova was later transferred to the 3rd Baltic Front where she fought in Estonia, and later the 2nd Belarusian Front where her unit fought for control of Elbing. During the battle, Petrova was nominated for the Order of Glory 1st Class, however, before she could receive the award, she was killed in action on May 1, 1945 during a mortar attack. In total, Petrova was credited with 122 confirmed kills during her long career in the military, and was responsible for training over 512 Soviet snipers. To this day, Petrova remains one of four women to have been awarded all three classes of the Order of Glory, making her one of the most distinguished and decorated female soldiers of all time. 2. Natalia Kovshova, 167 kills. 
Natalia Kovshova was born on November 26, 1920 in Ufa, Russia and served as a sniper for the Red Army during the Second World War. Although she originally pursued work at a Moscow-based research institute, the Nazi invasion of 1941 prompted Kovshova to postpone her career plans as she made preparations to join the fight against German aggression. At the age of 21, 1941, Kovshova joined a self-defense unit in Moscow where she managed an observation post and communication array. As the war progressed, however, Kovshova decided to pursue advanced military training and requested a transfer to the Central Women's Sniper Training School. Upon completion, she was immediately sent to the front with the 528th Rifle Regiment alongside her spotter, Maria Polivanova. Kovshova participated in numerous battles and campaigns, including the Battle of Moscow. She was also instrumental in helping to train other snipers and soldiers in the art of marksmanship. For nearly a year, Kovshova took great pride in fighting back the German army, racking up numerous kills and medals for her bravery. Sadly, her career was cut short on August 14, 1942, as Kovshova's regiment engaged German troops near Sudoki by Erkoven Novogorod Oblast. After being pushed back and surrounded by German soldiers, both Kovshova and her spotter, Paula Vanova, fought bravely to the end. Just as capture seemed inevitable, the pair decided to detonate multiple grenades, killing themselves and several Germans in the process. It is estimated that Kovshova and her partner managed to kill over 300 Germans during their short military career. For her sacrifice and bravery, Kovshova was later awarded the title, Hero of the Soviet Union. A Soviet factory was later named in her honor during the 1960s. 1. Ludmila Pavlichenko, 309 kills. Ludmila Mikhailovna Pavlichenko was born on July 12, 1916 in Bila Tsirkva, Ukraine and served as a Soviet sniper with the Red Army during World War II. Although Pavlichenko originally worked as a grinder at the Kiev Arsenal factory, she later developed a keep interest in guns, and even joined a local shooting club in her city to practice sharpshooting. After later marrying, having a baby, and finishing her master's degree during the 1930s, Pavlichenko's career in teaching was abruptly halted with the onset of Operation Barbarossa in 1941. Driven by a sense of patriotic duty to her country, Pavlichenko immediately volunteered for military service, where she was assigned to the 25th Rifle Division. Despite having an opportunity to work as a nurse with the Red Army, Pavlichenko opted instead for sniper duty due to her love of guns and ability to shoot. After attending training, Pavlichenko immediately sought action on the Eastern Front, making her first two kills within days of her arrival at Belayevka. Only a few weeks later, during the battle for Odessa, Pavlichenko racked up an astounding 187 kills over a period of three months. After managing to fight for nearly a year, Pavlichenko was later withdrawn from combat after sustaining a severe wound by mortar fire in June 1942. Despite her relatively short military career, however, Pavlichenko was later credited with having 309 confirmed kills, and reached the rank of lieutenant in the Red Army. After recovering from her injuries and participating in numerous speeches and appearances for her heroic acts, Pavlichenko later returned home to finish school and to begin her career as a historian. Sadly, the famous female sniper later died of a stroke on October 10, 1974 at the age of 58. To this day, Pavlichenko is still considered to be the deadliest female sniper in history, as well as one of the most decorated women soldiers of all time earning the order of Lenin in the title, Hero of the Soviet Union.